has changed a little bit since I've like run out of products and I've like started new products but I really quickly just kind of wanted to talk to you guys yes I'm using a snapchat filter no I don't care so basically I'm wearing makeup right now and I'm what I'm gonna do is like take everything off and I'm gonna show you the products that I use and then I'm gonna like do everything in the shower which <laughs> you guys are obviously not gonna see but I'm just gonna like kind of talk about the products that I use show you the products that I use and even talk about like my hair a little bit so if you want to hear about like my skincare and everything stay tuned Obviously, the first step to skincare is removing any makeup or product you have on your face. I use the Neutrogena ones. I don't usually have a preference to makeup wipes. I just grab whatever. Um, I do have sensitive skin, but when it comes to makeup wipes, I've been fine. I haven't had, like, any problems or anything. So these are the ones I typically go for. I've used the Neutrogena ones a lot lately. I just like their products, so, of course, I just grab whatever makeup wipes I feel like grabbing. Obviously, I'm sure I don't have to show you guys how to use makeup wipes. It's pretty basic. You wipe everything off. Um, I actually tend to reuse my makeup wipes just because I don't wear a lot of makeup. I actually, the only makeup I have like on my actual face is my bronzer stick. And that's literally all I use on my face. That and highlight. Um, the most of my makeup is my eyes. So yeah, that's really like where I use like concealer. I don't put any makeup like anywhere else on my face, especially if I'm going every day. I like to keep it pretty natural. The only reason why I'm going everywhere is just because that's how I do it. Just because, you know, I don't know. This is just how I do it. I go everywhere, even though I literally have no product on my face. This is literally how I do it. When it comes to actually washing my face, I do a double cleanse. So I start with this one that's an exfoliating cleanser. I use this every day. Um, I use this first to kind of like take off any other makeup that um, hasn't come off with the makeup wipe. Um, and then I'll go in with my African Black Soap, which this is a homemade one that I get in St. Augustine, but I do know that Shea Moisture makes one, and it's just really good for really deep cleaning your skin. So I do a double cleanse. I start with this one, and then I'll rinse, and then I'll use this one, and my face feels super duper clean, you guys. I 10 out of 10 recommend you get an African Black Soap. It's really, really good for acne. So these two together, yes. So I'm going to quickly talk about the two masks that I use. Um, I do these twice a week on Wednesday, and then again on Sunday. Sunday to begin the week really clear skin clean and then Wednesday I do it again because it's like the middle of the week so this is the one I gravitate towards this is the Avon clear skin pore penetrating black mineral mask this mask clears my skin up so beautifully my skin feels absolutely like completely fresh so I really recommend you order this one if not get the um L'Oreal clay mask it's um they have a black charcoal one I also recommend that one so definitely invest in a good mask I like the um, charcoal or mineral masks they're absolutely amazing I really recommend this one though it's done wonders for my skin so yes definitely get yourself a good cleansing mask so after I do my cleansing mask I like to go in with a more moisturizing mask so I go in with this collagen sheet mask. Um, I really like this mask. It really plumps my skin and makes it really super soft. So I really recommend you start using sheet masks. These are absolutely amazing if you find the right one for your skin. Um, my skin lately has been working with literally any mask that I use. So I really recommend you use sheet masks. Even the little, um, the tiny ones that are literally just circles really tiny you can like kind of like spot treat I also recommend those but definitely invest in a good sheet mask I do know that Walmart is currently having a two for five deal on sheet masks so go ahead and run to Walmart and grab some they're absolutely amazing so at the end of my whole skincare routine I like to go in with this tea tree oil to just overall moisturize my skin 
a little goes a long way don't go overboard with this but it's also good for like a lot of other things besides just skin um, but I definitely recommend this either tea tree oil or tea tree water as like just to spritz all over your skin is also really good so I definitely recommend you go and get one of these so for all of my curly wavy haired girls out there um, I just got into this Cantu brand and I just want to talk to you guys about it because I just started using it. I know I hopped on the wave way too late, but you know, it is what it is, whatever. So I really like this Cantu. Um, I'm holding it upside down because like the shampoo is running out, so I don't want to like flip it. But anyway, I really, really like this brand. It leaves my hair really clean and voluminous, but also moisturized. Um, I did run out of the actual conditioner, but I still have the co-wash which I'm actually going to start doing. So I 10 out of 10 recommend either Cantu or Shea Moisture for my curly textured haired girls. Um, if you guys have any other products that are good for curly wavy hair, leave them down in the comments so I can definitely try them out for you guys. But I highly, highly recommend this brand. I absolutely love this for my hair.